September is Child Safety Month, so in today's Fab Mom on 2, that's what we're talking about again this week. Our parenting lifestyle contributor, Jill Simonian, is here to bust some myths about keeping our young ones protected online and offline. Yes, last week we talked about my big social media exper experiment, call out for parents. Mm -hmm. Parents, we are scared of the online activity with our kids, and we're also scared that our kids are going to get abducted, oh. taken. That's, um, a, that's a number two fear. That's a big yeah. one. Yeah. Well, let's start with elementary school age kids, mm -hmm. Jill. You say talking about stranger danger is not the way to go anymore. Yes, I know, and this was so shocking for me to find. 90% of harm done to kids is actually not from a stranger, but mm -hmm. it's from an acquaintance. And uh, tricky people is the new buzzword to replace stranger danger because stranger danger gives a mixed message. Safelyeverafter.com in, uh, based in Santa Monica says that tricky people is the phrase that you want to use to educate your kids about adults trying to trick them into situations that they shouldn't be in. I like that word. Yeah, anyway. tricky, tricky people. It's okay. good. Well, now, we used to tell kids, yell fire if you're mm -hmm. in trouble, but you say, don't do that anymore. I distinctly <laughs> remember in the first grade, an expert came into my class and they said, yell fire if you're ever in trouble. Here's the go-to phrase to tell your kids. Say, got to check first and run away fast. If mm -hmm. someone says, oh, do you want to come with me? Don't tell. Uh -huh. Got to check first. Run real fast. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Now, you also talk about the trends of putting large names on backpacks. Yes, and this is so dangerous. Our job, and I mean, you know, the world is a safe place. We don't want to incite fear where fear is unnecessary, but limit the information mm. that people have for your kids. There's this amazing Emmy-nominated show on Netflix so right now. It's called Ruby Studio. It's a TV series. They have a special show called The Safety Show, and it oh. teaches go-to tactics. My girls are now running around. Because of the show, they've learned the phrase, I'm the boss of my body, and it's hey. empowering for kids to know like what their rules the are for safety. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. Uh -huh. That looks really good, too. It's a great show. It really is effective. My girls, I, they're big fans of Ruby right there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, about social media and older kids, our mm. last myth is that putting parenting mm -hmm. controls on devices will keep kids safe. But... You know, I thought parental controls were good. They are good, but we can't let ourselves get lazy just by slapping the parental control. We have to mm. keep talking about the dangers of predatory behavior online. So we got to teach them. the kids the language yeah, okay. of what to recognize. It's not okay to ask, "Oh, are you a if a stranger asks you online, are you a boy or a girl? What are you wearing?" Teach those kids that that's not okay. That's not good. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much, sure. Jill. And we'll have more details about all of this on cbsla.com. You can also head to our Facebook page to catch Jill's conversation about more child safety myths and solutions with actress Allie Landry. She's co-founder of the Celebrity Red Carpet Safety Event. Yes. And that's happening this weekend? This weekend. I'll be there on Saturday. Get your tickets. All right. <laughs> Can't wait. Thank you so much, Jill. Thank you. Always wonderful when you're here. Thank you. All right.